Joshua 3.15a Uchavo nose haaron ad hayarden Va ragle hakohanim nose haaron Nit balu bigze hamaim These first two lines very detailed setup for the finite verb which finally appears in the third line. We have a disjunctive verb now as the coming of. And this is the ones carrying the ark unto the Jordan. And the feet of the priests carrying the ark. So all that to say may be smoothed out. Now, as the priest carrying the ark came to the Jordan, and their feet, they were dipped in the edge of the water. Uchavo. This comes from Beit, Vav, Aleph. And this is a Kal, and it's an infinitive construct. And so here, it has this almost temporal sense with the term uh, k put to the front, like or as. So, when the coming of. Nit balu, this comes from tate, bait, lamed. And what we can see here by the noon at the front of this word, that's the theme letter for the nifal. Stem. So this is a nifal, and it's perfect 3CP, with the subject being the feet of the priests. It's worth taking note of the very parallel structure of the two identical participles used of the um, carrying of the ark, the carrying of the ark. So it's not the priests who are the stars here but it's the ark. That's where our eyes are fixed with this repeated term. So, as the carrying of the ark got to the Jordan, and the feet of the priests carrying the ark dipped into the edge of the waters. In short, the very heavy uh, details make this, uh, for the reader, a focus on the historical nature of this event.